Welcome back guys to another video on the Meta Twins channel. Today we'll be covering Gala Games. Gala Games is a company that is trying to become the steam of blockchain games and so far they are ahead of the curve. Like just wait until I show you everything they have in store. I mean as soon as you come into the website you can go to the about section and you'll see a really professionally made website. You know they give you their principles right off the bat you know fun first so they make a good game and then they in, in, infuse it or embed tokenomics into it. So it's not the other way around where you see a lot of companies making bad games just so that they can like print money or milk people. So, so you know, have like a crazy game where people, you know, PVP and it's all on balance just because they want, the development companies wanted to make a quick buck. None of that. They make a good game and then they, of course, add tokenomics. It's a play to earn. Partly the reason why it's in the blockchain, but another reason why it's cool that it's in the blockchain is because once you win something in their games, you keep it. You know, they have proof of ownership. They can see that you own the item in the blockchain and you can trade it and you can keep it. You can sell it on the open sea market, I'm sure. And, and that's something really cool to see. They don't hold the games in a vacuum. They let the community see they have a, they have a, um, Discord right here, which we'll be looking at a little bit later on today, and it's, it's pretty cool. It, they do, they really do run stuff through the community, um, powered by the people. You know, the people that own nodes get to vote on this kind of stuff. And so far, we know we have like sixteen thousand, and um, they get to vote on the games. And if you go to their medium, you can see that you know they they post games and they and they want people to vote like Bit Bit Twix. Bitwix, I think that's how you pronounce it. It was a proposal to the, you know, node to the node holders, and you know, a little bit of a of a note that they have for the node holders is, you know, this vote is very important. So they're encouraging people that own the node to, you know, vote on the games they want to have. So you know, they get pitched and then they pick up games and they imbue them with tokenomics, and it just makes for better crypto games, in my opinion, or or better NFT games. Um, they're in the news quite a bit, you know, they're on the Wall Street Journal, that's really good. They have Frank Miller as, you know, uh, as an art director of some sort. Um, if you don't know who Mark Frank Miller is, let me give you like a quick insight into him. You know, he's an American writer, artist, film director, but he's mostly known for, you know, you know, Daredevil and, you know, Batman Year One, Sin City and 300. This is really good. He's, 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 he's the guy when it comes to like comic books looking thing and graphic novels and just writing, even, even that he says, you know, screenwriter, screenwriter, novelist, not film director. So, you know, he's a good guy to have when you want to make a good game or story driven game or, you know, a, a, a aesthetically, aesthetically pleasing looking game. That's so, so really cool to have. If we look at their games, they have some really cool games that are going to be coming out soon so the walking dead is still in development fortified still in development and the spaceship game that just went away is still in development but the ones that you can play right now is townstar and spider tanks and i gotta show you these two games because they, they they look pretty good townstar is a farm simulator and um it's it's not for everybody but f f for people that like these farm simulator types games you can make a lot of passive income with townstar I mean, you can get a really productive farm going and get your stars for the for the day pocketed and then they'll reward you with the, you know, gala coins and you can trade them and cash them out for, you know, a, a stable coin. And Spider Tank looks really good. They're even holding small competitions for the people that currently do play the game. That's something to show you later on. All of these other games, I'm probably going to make a separate video about. Miranda's for sure I'll make a separate video about because it's looking really, really cool. And I'll, and I'll show you guys, maybe I'll show you guys a small video. If not, then I'll show you in a different video what the game actually looks like because they do release video footage of the game and what the developers are working on. Now, they don't have the craziest partners, but they have pretty doggone good partners. Like Brave, crazy, crazy good. I use Brave right now. I'm using it right this second. It really keeps your information private and it's... You know, you'll, you'll, it's less likely to get hacked. It's also, uh, in, in, it has an embedded ad blocker. It's just uh, the way to go in terms of web browsers. And it's just like a, 
and it's just like a you know like a 2.0 version of Chrome. So it's just the same. Thing. You, you almost wouldn't notice if if you didn't pay attention that, that it wasn't Chrome. They're working with Polygon too, which is good because Ethereum, Skyspace, they're gonna be um, are gonna go dummy anytime soon, or you know when things go when this blows up. So it's good to have Polygon, which is gonna make like the gas fees non-existent. They're also working with Flare. Uh, I'm assuming Mazer Gaming is an eSport that they own and BeTrue is another company like Flare, which is which is pretty cool. Um, the CEO, Eric, uh, I'm not gonna say his name because I'll probably butcher it, but he says, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't have, if I didn't think this was literally the next phase of the internet. And he says that as he relates to music and, and, and art and the digital life in general, things that you thought you own, you really didn't. This is what, you know, blockchain is going to revolutionize. And he's really excited about that. And he's also excited about video games, which is why, you know, he's making Gala games. Um, milestones that they've hit, they've sold an NFT for $3 million, which is awesome. It was, it was probably land because you can buy a lot of land over here. Um, 1.3 million active users, which is crazy. 90 plus team members, probably depending on different mini studios that are being added to the Gala game, you know, overall corporation. And they've sold 26,000 total NFTs. That's really good and, 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 and kind of cool because if, if you look into their into their work, you can see that they're partnered with One Tree Planted. And anytime you buy an NFT or anything in their website, um, you get you get for every purchase a dollar gets sent to you know One Tree Planted, and they plant a tree for you. So you know a little bit more of an incentive to 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 buy if you want to you want to do a little bit of, of good service as you buy your NFT from them instead of buying an NFT that they have on like OpenSea or something like that. Um, I say the best way to keep up with them is through their medium and they'll show and, they'll, and, and through the medium they'll show, show you projects like for example Bitwixt is one that they propose to um, note holders and they're they wants to get to vote and so far you know you know they, they got to get to voting I don't know how long the process takes but you know they always obviously they keep the note holders in mind because that's a big part of the community but now let me show you some of the games uh, primarily starting with um Spider Tanks to me is one of the you know the best ones that they got. I mean, you really can't look at this game and and not you can't look at this game and not see like potential. Like wow, if this game was in the App Store right now, um, it would it would sell one and it would be re really played. Like it, it, this this looks like the perfect mobile game, but it would also be in computer screen and, and Mac and PC, and eventually probably they'll come out with mobile version because it just looks like the type of game that you can run mobile and it would probably blow up even bigger if it was mobile so you know this game so far is in beta but it looks really well done as it is right now so who knows when it'll come out of beta, beta probably sometime soon if we go back i like to show you a little bit of um you know last expedition that's the game that i opened in and i was i was reading that you know you have a couple of halo 2 veterans working on this fps survival game it's kind of like if you ever if you ever gone to an arcade and you've you know played that game with the aliens are following you or you shoot them with the plastic guns or whatever that's probably be like that but you know on the pc and the and the better you do the more rewards you'll get which then you can cash out it's just an overall cool concept for a game in terms of you know play to earn and if we go back you know maybe we can see a little bit of um the the empire the walking dead empire um and so far it looks really good to play any of these games, you gotta buy an NFT. Um, I recommend you get the golden subscription, which gives you one NFT with every game that they've made. And to me, that sounds really cool because you know you can pay somewhere around sixty to one hundred bucks for the golden subscription. You know, if you take gas fees into account, and then you can play any of the games that they come out. You know, if you buy one of their lands, Dead Claim Georgia Common. You know, the uncommon is sold out because this is probably an extra small, extra small uh, uh, plot size. But you know, let's say you bought a common one or or a rare one, and then your this is where you will spawn. So basically, buying one of these NFT cards for this game specifically is like buying your spawn point. And so your spawn point might look like this, but maybe if you buy a rare one, you get a spawn point like this. That although it will have better resources. It also probably will have more zombies, so it's not just exactly a pay to win. It, it's you'll probably work hard on balancing out, given that it's a play to earn type game. 
Um, but yeah, this looks cool and you need an NFT to play every single one of their games. If we go to the store, you can see all the NFTs that they sell for all their type of games. This, this is for um, Miranda's, the game that I was telling you about earlier. It's really cool. This is probably for uh, the other game is pretty similar. It's called Legacy. And, and all these games are like, you know, really well made. I'm gonna make a video on every single one of them just so you, I can give you the download on this one right now. But the last thing I'll show you, you know, is, you know, a little bit of the footage that they have going on over here. You can see how much they do really care about, you know, like if you, if you watch through all of this, you can see a, a lot of the people talking and about how much they care about the project, which is really cool to see when it comes to, you know, something that you invest your money in. And this is an example of a little bit of a competition that they've had with the spider tanks. Like I'm telling you, this game looks ready to me. It's one of the ones that I'm most excited about. Let's just show you a big portion of the behind the scenes, which, you know, it, you know, invites a lot of trust from anybody looking the outside in. But yeah, I think, I think that's all I have for you guys today. If you want to learn more about, you know, their community and all the different games, you can go to their discord well you have like a channel for every single one of their you know every single one of their games and um you can learn more about each one of the games but i recommend you to come to the website you know play town star you know test it out see if you like it i doubt i doubt you won't like it because you know the game is just like a really fun game but it's not for everybody if you don't like it then go try out spider tanks which is you know a game that caters to more of this pvp type people but um yeah, Downstar is, is 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 the one that you should go with right now because it can make you a lot of passive income if you're really good. That being said, that's all I have for you guys today. This time, for real, if you have any more questions though and I, I don't answer you in the comments or I, or I miss it, you can go to the frequently asked question and they'll explain a lot of stuff that you might have questions on, which is what I did. Um, that being said, that's that'll be all for today. Until next time, guys, stay meta.